Hi, my name is Sherilyn Krell, and I'm a tutor for Oasis uh, in the Ladue School District. I just completed my sixth year, and I, I actually cannot believe that I forgot to wear my starfish pin, which I treasure because of uh, Mary having told the story about saving starfish, and you can't save everyone on the beach, but you can serve, save one, and I hope I've done that <laughs> once or twice. So I was looking for something meaningful to do uh, as a volunteer, and this just came and happened upon me and just worked out great. I would say it was sort of a dual kind of a thing. The, the main experience that I had was after teaching one little girl from first grade through fourth, when she graduated from Old Bottom Elementary School, I did go to the farewell party that they had, sort of a little graduation in Stacy Park. And I asked around some of the other mothers there if they knew where my little girl student's family was. And she said, well, I see her father over there, and tall, nice looking fellow, young fellow. Uh, so I walked over and introduced myself and he just stopped and said, would you mind if I gave you a hug? He said, you have no idea how much you influenced our daughter we thank you so much. It was incredible. Well, we were both crying, and then the little girl came up, and she hugged all of us, and it was really an incredible moment. They've been incredibly um, important and um, supportive. And, you know, I did not have an, I don't have an education degree. I was a journalism major in college, so I'm not a teacher. I just play one on TV. Um, but going to those professional meetings and learning about children with serious, real, more severe problems with learning than I've had to come in contact with um, has been really helpful. And I take copious notes that I keep from year to year. And um, I, I guess I always enjoy interacting with my fellow um, Oasis buddies as well. Um, and I really look forward to getting together with them and hearing them share what's successful for them and what creative ideas they could do. And I'm always amazed at how creative people are and the things that they do. I think I really need to up my game and sort of get a little more creative. Although what, I did have one project with last year's little girl, not this year, but the, the one I had before. Uh, we wrote a book together. Um, I just sort of wrote a little story and left blanks in it, almost like that old Mad Lips game that we used to use. And I would bring the story to her, and she would fill in the blanks. I, She would print it right in there, and then I would take it home and reprint it on the computer so that it all flowed nicely. And then she did the um, illustrations, and then Stacy had it bound for us by the end of the year, and I was able to give it to her to take home. That was, a, that was a lot of work for me, but she invested herself in it as well. It's really nice. And if I continue next year, I'm going to start out at the beginning of the year and work on something like that again. They really liked it. Well, it's a reasonable amount of time to invest in something that's really going to make an impact on somebody for a long, long time. Um, I like doing it because it's close to my house. It's convenient. I like the school schedule, but it's it's really a meaningful kind of an experience. And I hope that as these children grow up, they'll remember that old lady who used to come visit them at school once a week. May may not remem remember my name, I don't know. Um, but I hope they'll remember me and, and think that maybe I did something nice for them and help them in their learning journey. <laughs>